Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 64 scale Hot Wheels Pagani Huayra. Whoa. This one's new out of the box as you can see as a result of my summer vacation peg hunting while in my wife's home country of Austria. This is my entry into the November Four Horsemen Invitational on the theme of police cars. I come from Canada, so my theme is going to be, well, just hang in there and find out. It may or may not involve maple syrup. I'm taking it apart piece by piece, and you can see, ooh, cool looking jet fighter canopy glass on that. Point. Plastic wheels come out and I think I will do away with those. And it's a plastic base as well. Everything's in tip-top condition here. So it's going to be a cosmetic custom job today. One of the best ways that you can support my YouTube channel is to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of your screen. Give this video a like and come on back and look around and I hope you'll enjoy what you find here. On the theme of police cars, today's community shout out goes to Texas Diecast Customs, formerly Benny's Police Customs, and Todd does absolutely outstanding detailed custom jobs all on the theme of police cars, and you'll want to go and check that out by following the link that I left in the description for you, and tell them that you came by from Maple Leaf Customs. The Huayra is an Italian mid-engine sports car produced by Pagani. Succeeding the company's previous offering, the Zonda, it costs 1.2 million euros. And it's named after Huayra Tata, a Quechua wind god. The Huayra was named the hypercar of the year for 2012 by Top Gear magazine. It was sold out almost immediately because it was limited to just 100 units as part of Pagani's agreement with the engine supplier, Mercedes AMG. I'm going to make a little mini diorama for this car out of a square coffee coaster. It's made of MDF wood and you can see I've got a very thin slice of cork board here that I've cut to size and I distress the edges a little bit on purpose and it's applied here just with some white school glue. When that's all set up I paint it and treat it to make it look like an asphalt road and I'm skipping a few of the bits other than this very Canadian Trans Canada Highway sign from British Columbia and soon a Pagani police cruiser will be parked under that with the radar gun out the side window looking for you. After the primer coat cured I shot everything with brilliant white and then I gave it a clear coat and let all of that sit overnight before I taped it up like this. You know the Dubai police force actually run a Pagani among other hypercars in their inventory and mine's going to have a blue and white paint scheme. This is a metallic blue that I've mixed up with about 50-50 paint to thinner and a 0.5 needle in my airbrush and once I unmask it, it looks like this. My liquid eraser is 50-50 water and nail polish remover just to take away any overspray with a toothpick. Out with the old Hot Wheels and in with an upgraded set of Samed wheels. These are called Azul and the color matches my metallic blue just right. I saved the old ones and tossed them into a used wheel bin. And look at this, I was wondering how to put some police lights on the top of the Huayra and it's got two built-in glass inserts in the roof right over the opening door so I'll paint one red and one blue. It's the perfect setup for a police car. Let's see if some of the other builders in this invitation will do the same kind of thing. It's looking good. 
So while I'm doing some exterior detail, I touch up the 6 liter 730 horsepower V12 engine developed by Mercedes AMG just for the Hawaira. And now I turn my attention to the decals and reveal the theme to you. It's going to be Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Gendarme Royal Canadian en Francais. I make up my own decals and today it's going to be a pretty easy application because they're only going on the white body. And I proudly put the Canadian government logo on the front fenders and this is a emblem of the Mounties goes singularly on one of the back wings and this is custom number 124 so it's police cruiser number 124 today and I want to send a personal note of thanks to Mr. Pagani for designing his side mirrors purportedly after the shape of his wife's eyes now that's a lovely romantic thing to do but if you're a 1 to 64 scale customizer, <laughs> it's hard to stick the landing on that one, but I did my best. I made them out of paper, cut to size, and covered with some Mod Podge and paint and clear lacquer, which stiffened them right up. They're all on straight pins, which I put a little curve on, and I think I got it pretty well. What do you think? I thought that was one of the most distinctive parts of a Pagani, and so I didn't want to leave that out. Well, it's time to carefully put this beauty back together. So the canopy, which I didn't touch at all, goes back in upside down, as does the plastic interior. Also not touched, because it's a smoked out glass, and you're not going to see any work that I would have done on that. And a little click in the front and the back tells me that I've got a perfect fit. And the screws go in to lock it down and button up number 124. Let's have a closer look. I'm really happy with the side mirrors. I think it is beautiful. Got a great glossy finish after the clear coat over top of the decals. The four exhaust pipes got detailed. There's a great match with those beautiful Samad wheels. And there's some matching metallic fleck in the blue paint to give the RCMP cruiser a little bit of razzle-dazzle. This is not an unmarked car by anybody's definition. My channel logo goes on the bottom so you know where this one came from. It's definitely a roller and can catch you and pull you over when you go speeding past it by the Trans Canada sign. It was brand new out of the box and was flawless when I started with it, but the project was to turn it into a police cruiser. So this is the biggest upgrade for the RCMP for the whole year. And I think it turned out looking absolutely fantastic with the colors and the add-ons that I put on there with the mirrors, the upgraded wheels. The red and blue beacon lights on the top and some distinctive decals for the Mounties. I like how it shows off on the little diorama too. I'll be making some more of those in the future. This one is not kid friendly because of the side mirror so it goes to an adult collector friend. Thanks to the Four Horsemen once again for sponsoring this invitation. I'll be sure to catch all the rest of the great builds it's coffee time.